Hi everybody, it's Jennifer. Today I want to talk to you about indirect painting again and using layers to create the painting instead of just doing it at one sitting or all the prima. So you probably remember when I did this cloud removal technique painting as a demo. So now today I'm going to come back over it with the color to finish the piece. Today on the palette, I have Titanium White, Naples Yellow, Cad Orange, Quinacridone Rose, Turquoise, Cobalt Blue, and I have Raw Umber as my dark. So the mixes I have on the palette today are a little bit of Cobalt Blue, and I've got a little orange in the cobalt blue, just a little bit to kind of roll it over so it's not so bright and intense. And this one I have the same thing, cobalt blue, a little bit of cad orange, and a little bit of white. Uh, this mix down here is the turquoise with a little bit of the raw umber in it. And the same here for that dark, it's the raw umber and a little bit of turquoise. And then this is raw umber, turquoise, and a little bit of white raw umber, turquoise, cad orange, and white. And then over here I have the Naples yellow with white. And again, as I'm working, I will totally change some of these colors and alter them and pick up new colors. So first thing I wanna do is start with my darks. So I'm going to take the big brush and I'm gonna go into the sky with some of the blue that I have up there. And there's only one spot of bright blue in this piece, and it is actually up in this corner. So I'm going to lay that in first. I'm going to add a little of the white to it so it shows up a little better. And I'm going to go near the clouds, but I don't want to go right on the clouds because I want there to be a little bit of room for blending. And in this area right here, it was like a swirl where it looked like somebody actually took a paintbrush and pulled the color out. Put a little bit more white in this color as I work over. And again, I am scumbling the paint on. The paint is fairly thin. And again, I've got a dry brush. Okay, so a little bit more white. I'm going right over that dry painting. Okay, and then as the colors come down, they are also a little lighter, but they're also a little bit more neutral. So I'll start with that here. And then when we get to the bottom where the storm clouds are, I'm gonna add a little bit of that orange color to the blue. Again, I'm just scumbling this on. I'm gonna make sure my horizon line is fairly straight. I wanna make sure that stays straight. And there's actually a dark right here. So I'll pick up some of that darker blue again. And then it gets a little lighter, so I'll go back to that lighter blue with a little bit of the orange in it. I want to be careful I don't cover up my trees. I'm going to put a little bit more dark in this part right here. I'm going to wipe the brush off, pick up this brush, 
Again, I'm going to try to set this a little darker. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this orangey color up in this blue to neutralize it a little bit. And right through here. Coming back with that dark, I really want this to be just a little darker than it is. Okay. I'm going to smooth this in just a little bit. Okay, so now I've got the colors in the sky kind of set. So now I want to come in here and start working some of my other darks. I have some really dark darks here on the bottom in the tree line. And then I have some warm darks on the beach, a little bit more orange right over here. And then there's this little dark right there, so I do want to try to keep that. I'm just going to lightly scumble over this, and I might even have to pull some of it out in the end if it doesn't keep its dark. Okay, so also in the water, I have a little bit of the dark in the water. Right through here. That's a little light. I'm going to come back. I'm going to just remove a little bit of this too so I get that dark back out. All right, and then against this little line over here, I've got a lot of dark. Put this color in. Now you always want to make sure that you go maybe a little warmer than you think you need with the color. You don't want your colors to be too cool. So as I come forward, I'm using a lot more warm values. In other words, I don't want everything to be too cool back here. Okay, so you can see I've got my dark setting up in this area. Now what I want to do is I can go ahead and hit the ocean color. It was pretty dark, but it had a little light to it in some places. Okay, and then I'll take a little bit of the light since I'm right here and I will add a little bit of light into this. Put a little white on my brush.
And then I'm going to take my rag and I'm just going to remove some of that so that it has a more mottled look to it. And I've got a little bit of that dark coming through there. I'm going to take a little bit of that blue from the top and clean up that horizon line. this back down over top of it. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to start working in the clouds. And mainly at the bottom here, all I have is the lights left. So I need to start working on those clouds. And there's a lot of different color in the clouds, mainly grays. And there's always warm grays and cool grays, so you want to make sure that you don't use something that's always cool. Make sure you have some warms in there. Okay, now I've got like a brownie color on the brush. It's a brown gray. And again, the reason for that is I don't want to just use all cool colors in the clouds. There are, again, warm darks and cool darks. So I want to make sure I have a little bit of both in there. All right, the same thing down here. I'm going to use a little bit of a cooler gray to start. And then I'm going to pick up some more of that warm gray. Okay, and get a little bit more dark. Okay, now I'm going all right on this edge and I'm blending these two lines together. I'm going to put a little bit more dark in there. I'm just blending out the edges. And I'm going to mix a little bit of this color in there too so it doesn't feel so isolated in the bottom. So I want to move the color around. I'm going to take a rag, just wipe some of this out so it's a little lighter. Okay. Now what I want to do is start working in some of those lighter values in the clouds. And I want my edges to be fairly soft. Again, I'm just scumbling this. 
because I don't want it to be too bright down here. There are some parts of the clouds that are really bright and we'll hit those with a little bit more white. I'm using a circular motion to put the clouds in with the brush. It's totally up to you how you want to handle that, but I think it's sometimes easier and gives you softer edges in places, so you might want to try that. Okay, I'm picking up a little bit more white. here and I'm going to put a little bit of the Naples yellow back in there so I've got a little bit more of the yellow in that color. Wipe off the excess. I'm still working with that Naples yellow color. And then right through here, I have that really cool like brush stroke look to the clouds. So I do want to try to pull out a few of those little sweeping motions and I'll blend them back in. All right, so I'm gonna pick up again a little bit more of that Naples yellow. over here okay and again I'm just scumbling some of this color through here Okay, now I have a really nice bright color right here, bright white cloud. I want to make sure I get that. So I'll wipe my brush off, put a little bit more white. And then again, circular motion. Try to come in here and add this little cloud. Okay, so at this point, all I really need to do is soften all the clouds, um, take a clean brush, and I'm gonna come right in here and I'm gonna swirl all this together. And I do wanna be careful that I don't lose all of my edges. Okay, and then this, I want to streak this out.
All right, I'm gonna come down here, same thing. Swirl the edges. And you might be able to hear that, it is pouring all of a sudden. Okay, so I'm almost done. Got this little area down here. And wiping out the excess paint. Again, I'm using the side of the brush, forcing the colors together. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I actually lost a little bit of this corner. There was a little bit of blue right there and I lost that. So I'm going to just see if I can sneak a little bit of that in there. It had a soft edge on it, but still I want to make sure I try to get some blue over top of that. Now I want to come down into the bottom part of the piece and start working some of those lighter values in there. All right, so right in here. And there's a little bit of the reflection from the clouds right through here, so I don't want to make that too bright, but I do need to make sure that it is a light. Wiping the brush again. And I'm going to put a little bit of the green in here now. It's a greenish blue. Now I'm going to blend these together. And put a little bit more white right there.
All right, so now I also still have this part of the water to do, and then I have the sand up there. So in here, it was kind of a darker value. I'll pull some of this color from another paper. And there were some browns in here too. The sand. So let's see, I'm gonna put a little white in this brown that I had down here. slip some of that brown right over here too because again I want to try to move the color around as much as possible okay so now I have the sand and I have all my highlights the sand is fairly light there's a little bit of a warmer strip right here. Let me see if I go a little darker. Yep, yeah, there we go. tiny little area back there I'm gonna get into Put a little bit more orange in there all right now we have the brighter sand and that's one of the lighter lights in the piece is the sand right up here Okay, so now I have the highlight for the foam on the water here, and then I have a little bit of the highlight for the foam here and here. So I have three main places left that I need to go ahead and try to hit. So the brightest of those would be this little corner right here. So I want to try to save this for last. And I do want something that is warm, but since all my other colors are really, really dark around this, I have to be careful, I don't want it to look too bright white. And I'll wiggle this line in here. I'm gonna clean off the brush. Come back in here, feather this. And then the same thing right here. And Naples yellow. Alright, same thing over here. Okay. 
Again, I'll pull this out and blend it in. And it was much lighter at this side, so I want to soften all of that. Okay, so I want to try to get that highlight on the wave in there. See if I can find a smaller brush. A little medium on the brush and try to clean it out. Okay. It's got a little Naples yellow on it. Okay, so now I want to put probably a few more darks down in this area and just try to balance this out a little bit because I'm just at the very end here. So now I want to look and see what needs to have a little bit more dark in it. And I'm going to come in and balance everything now. Okay, so for this week, what I want you to do is take another one of your pieces that you did for the first assignment and I want you to add color over top of that piece. So again, this is indirect painting where we're using layers to achieve the look that we're going for. And this week I want you to try another piece with this method. If you have any questions, email me. Have a great week.